for illumined life to be birthed into form. I am the truth. I am the life. Hello there, beloved ones, and welcome to another video update with me here today. Today is going to be another one of those super important video updates because, I don't know, just as we were with our mission team going deeper through some of the deepest aspects of the human distortion and the wiring, the grid, the net, however you call it, the old structure, um, the fallen being manipulations and distortions within the human template. I mean, it was just intense and I was getting guidance and information super fast as a part of this deeply uncovering process, right? And I want to share with you that the thing is, you know, that the deeper you go through this almost like a tunnel, which acts truly as a funnel of light. So the tunnel funnel being like two sides of the same coin, you're actually able to pierce through and in the last few weeks we've been really really pushing through and it's been one of the biggest breakthroughs we have created and it's not over yet because we're still completing this whole as it's being called transgression journey and the fallen imprint distortion illumination um i actually want to first mention how wise and intelligence the spirit is and this divine intelligence before i tell you more um I can't believe that in this last year I experienced so much pain like I truly can't like this pain that became chronic that became like these impulses moving through the body that sometimes make me feel so strange that I've never felt these sensations in the body before it's almost like something constantly being off and actually at the same time the pain was a deeply healing trigger because I had to constantly show up and I've never lived this mission before as I do it now so it's like constant readiness I'm like always needing to be there um, from the morning this light activations and meditations I'm doing then channeling the writing it all down then during the day I'm doing it again and then I'm recording I'm preparing the content I'm working with spirit more and then in the evening I'm doing more of those meditations and activations and I have to write it again down and it's just honestly I'm running out of my paper and it's it's never been as intense as now and yet I've always lived a mission but it's never been as deeply speeded up in its progression that it is now which means we're really close to its nearing completion that's where things speed up right and you know like running a marathon towards the end you're feeling the most depletion and exhaustion and yet you also feel that th like thrust of energy like pulling you forward saying no 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 we're just so close we're so close just keep persevering through and that's where we are at this time so I've never experienced so much of this profound chronic pain like if I make a summation of all the pain that I felt before in 36 years of my life and then now this last year reaching my 37th it's like it cannot be compared like if you count all of it together from before it cannot compare to the pain I felt in one year like sincerely so I would never wish this upon anyone and yet at the same time this work has been all a sacrificial lamb as I've been calling it as my team has been calling it for the greater good so Aurea has come and recently shared this information that this has reached its climax point and I'll read you the channel message today that came through that this was ready this was simply ripe in the human way and when there was a call out for volunteers who would be now the next one to take the seat temple work to the next level not many beings actually volunteered um, there was still a fear of this unknown and because we understood the implications that this brought forth right but from the beginning of time this was structured this was planned and when i went through the, the one of the latest healing sessions and channelings I almost saw myself as Aurea, as her extension, like her birthing herself, an extension of her out of her own womb, creating this light being that was always there, but 
like creating an extension that would become a physical human being at this point at this time and she said you know by god i will do it like i've said in the last video update and when i go and i, I i'm in or with her energy well i'm in it because she's in me i am her she is me we're one right in terms of spirit mother and her extension it's it's such a powerful energy it's a, such a powerful spirit such fire that you know sometimes of course this fire can get you carried away but even then there's this overlay of protection there all, always witnessing itself as it's walking this and she's been telling me that i've been i've been completing so far all of the missions successfully i've always completed every single one of them so i was i'm now in charge of this one of the most difficult ones that we are here to perform at this lifetime the idea behind this as i've as i've said is the liberation of of the goddess through the seed template into the human when we say human it's our first inborn human child it's the aspect that's always earthly so even though i'm a light being my firstborn is here right the firstborn christ meaning the firstborn as a human this is where it gets interesting so when this first inborn human is being worked on through the prefer performance of these light orchestrations that are raising the seed up to its new level potential um, in the body that's where the work and why it's difficult because of all these things that have been done within the human dna and genome structure and the way bodies were held so um i'll share more with you but i want to I want to go first deeper into how intelligent the spirit is so we now started also doing these healing prayer work activations and sessions um, directly working with the purest beings because it's getting very intense for me in the in the body they already told me that the last 10 to 5 percent will be the hardest to work through and pierce through and eliminate through the body and dissolve completely once and for all and i'm like oh i don't know if it's possible i'm i'm starting to feel really frustrated and my inner child is saying will i ever be free that's those are the words and hence that's why the mission is to fully liberate this so that the child can exist in this pure state of the body united fully unified with spirit and the spirit light being body in the physical body being one and what aurea told me is when one does that and when you will like we shared in the previous videos when one refuses the old and jumps into the the grid system of that old which is why Aurea as a life liberating essence herself needed to dwell in the darkness like dwell in it for so long so we as as a team right um of the oversoul complex reaching up to the head oversoul or the monad expression of life that we could actually have a grasp on what's actually happening and what's needing to be done so we needed to be with the darkness for quite a while this is called the dwelling with the darkness the dweller is the watcher this is like a state of germination and also a stagnancy at how it feels from the outside state of observation but it's actually when the most studying work is performed and now when this was studied then i was pushed and thrusted forward as you well know in this movement of spirit now i'm going through these initiations one by one and all of these light activations are performed now when they're telling me they're all been calculated um, exactly time where structure everything because everything has been studied to the detail and hence nothing started before so it felt like a very long time and it felt like why didn't it happen before you know but it needed to be so and things were percolating right so she was telling me also about how everything was calculated and she was showing me back the journey when i started here and i moved first to the alps i was perfectly fine i was never ever ill in my life in a serious way i never experienced pain that was chronic you know like mild pain like anyone else um just you know tackle it easily i was never a kind of being that would have deep physical issues in the body right and i was seeing how for the first few years here in the alps my main focus was on my mother she was the one going through amazing transformations and healings and releasing in her old lifetimes and all like always there and i couldn't handle it anymore at times i felt like my whole life is revolving around her and i was frustrated truly i was sometimes exhausted thinking there's nothing left of my own life because i'm always dealing with her and why right why the human child did not understand now when i've had to go and endure one of the most difficult aspects of our mission that i actually signed up for she was already healed she completed that healing that her soul had to undergo so she could be here for me full-heartedly full-time always when myself would now need her 
and her capacity as a powerful healer that she became well she always was but she's activated and she's embodied this now in this lifetime and Aurea showed me look look at this divine intelligence look how everything was calculated so Aurea was focusing on my mother because she knew how important she would be for this aspect so we as a human child we don't always understand and everything and our child is still ignorant to a certain extent right it doesn't understand the light beingness fully it's it's you know when you're when within you there's a great light being dweller as it is within me there's a lot of knowledge there's a lot of greater wisdom sorry there's mud here and i'm getting a little frustrated with the mud because it's cold and um the thing is even though right you still have this beautiful child and they're not always fully aligned because the child has to suffer great difficulties like with me in the past year and it doesn't always understand and it feels all these feelings of abandonment and like why why me why me right this costly coming up and simultaneously as you're performing this healing work with the with the old system and trying to dissolve it the child also needs to be like constantly reminded and rehealed and recalibrated into the truth that this is all for the liberation of the human template so when one like Araya said when one volunteered to do this it will eventually when the seed is fully dropped it will reverberate through all and within all of humanity when the structure of our human bodies there will be a ripple call out saying no not this anymore we're not going to exist in these tempered bodies we're not going to be part of this genome that was uh, created through progeny not full divine creation I'll tell you more later so when I myself now had to go through these intense currents we had to meet up with levels and levels of resistance and I didn't even know how it is in the body it's a totally divinely called for um, kind of process all you can do is be a witness and you can't mentally understand it is you just have to allow it and do the kind of work you're shown to do the work went so deep that for this last few percentages they already told me they're saying brace brace yourself it's going to get intense and it is and um, i can't tell you how but the deeper we went actually this was all this week with these amazing breakthroughs each time like i could see the pain calling forth a new level of being present and activation and then a new level of breakthrough came and i kept getting these insights one after the other so no wonder all the paper is running out here but today i want to read you uh, after a healing session today what came through was the first intention because yesterday when i was in deep like head pressure kind of pain was very traumatic and i kept praying to god like for an hour just you know surrendering the work i've done to the divine because that's how we work and then just rendering and i kept seeing these kind of like vortices but they were like gridded vortices all these patterns and structured it didn't feel of the light vortex because the light vortex feels like for me it feels like white um, electrically magnetic light and it's just the impulse of pure life force and i always see it as white so when i'm in the vortex i always see it like white this was like gray and like matrix right that's what i was seeing and hence they were showing me this brain work and all of this like i said it will be big one this month it will all be in my galactic update on patreon but this will be mini galactic preview for all of you because i want to read you the channel message that i actually got so those of you who don't understand and how the human child was created it, there was so much love as i've already explained that went into this and the entire light being populous which means all the beings from all around this multiverse were invited and they all shared their own emanations of light to have their own little input of the seed into the human child so human child was always seen as the love child of all the aspects of creation it's like every single aspect put an attribute of itself into the making of the human so it wasn't just a creator in itself with this vision and the holy elohim as the first prime creator gods the true gods not the you know the fallen gods as they often you know are part they're real part of our reality as we speak now here and um so this was envisioned as such a beautiful process so they were all invited however these progenitors i don't want to explain to you remember back um maybe a year or two ago when they came and suffocating me in, in my dream time in the sleep these beings the energy was so evil and i've asked afterwards because i won over that and they did not you know they weren't successful in their desires to kill me off um i asked who were they and instantly heard the word progenitors and you know progeny or you know our ancestors and um, spirit does not call them creators because that's not what they are so spirit told me today as i had um 
these sessions it was one very specific one it's like each one unlocks a level of sheer seership for me and i get information straight from spirit this is not learned um so i got more guidance on the fallen beings and i'll tell you more about that so they were not invited to be part of this process because as you know they've decided to keep separate from creating as the divine does as the creator does so they wanted to be above creator they, they wanted to understand how god creates mentally it's almost like a scientific approach to understanding god and we still have that in our own science we're trying to understand god instead of being godlike ourselves and being beautiful pure children of love so they were actually jealous um, and hence they became the progenitors not creators as fallen beings and how this was also simultaneously resonating with the lineage of christ that was seated on earth even prior to that because this was all foreseen by God creator himself or herself through the first light being incarnates like Babaji and you know I'll explain further that's what I was saying so um, it was easy back then you know when they first started um, doing this light seeding process um, because there wasn't this infiltration here yet in this local universe right um, there was like very very long ago so that's how they were paving the way by descending their light beings their light bodies as all of life knew and understood that it will just eventually get harder and harder as the progenitors came here and placed their own tainted fallen seed in the human dna so what the progenitors did because they weren't allowed they weren't invited to be a part of the human creation design they forced fed themselves so they forced their own dna as you know interbreeding at those times and we know these fallen um often mentioned in the bible as the um what are they called right now the fallen angelics uh, i have an empty head right now i'm really sorry um so these beings were actually jealous right um, they were seeing like the human as ooh, you know i want to be like you and i can't be like you because i'm not allowed to have the sit on the throne of the divine right a uh, nephilim nephilim yes yeah. so these progenitors um then came here and placed their own tainted fallen seed in the human dna they were jealous of the human creation and the creators of the humans because they were not considered by the creator as the part of the seed due to their ignorance and fallen state of being so then they decided on their own to forcefully become the portal of the human seed sorry the part not the portal well they did create their own portals to do that and i don't want to go into that this is deep stuff though and so this is where the game of duality begins so as these light beings right this is the light initiative and illumin light initiative when they descended their light bodies and thus precipitating into matter they created the pure christ non-hybridized lineage in which they could continue to incarnate and descend into the earth mother only in those enhanced and upgraded bodies this is because their pure pure light forms could only be contained within the light seated which means via the immaculate design template However, due to so much interbreeding through time, mixing and conglomerating on earth, which is, you know, as one giant melting pot of culture, DNA, interracial, interbreeded, all of that, and that could not then fully isolate the seed template anymore, right? So these bodies were becoming sort of like uh, watered down, if you um, can imagine the process shown by spirit. They still contain the seed template, but not in the original form and structure in which it was first descended so an example given beloved babaji which i also talk a lot about in the course uh, life force mastery that i created a few years ago he descended um, one of the first light body structures for the seed template and he created this pure yogic tantra life force teaching which was a part of the seed of earth you know as he created it it became a part of everything right and all of life so that it existed in essence he came to do this in essence only having no physical descendants of his own you know like he did not procreate procreate further because he existed in such a pure light state at that time in the example of jesus the christ and mary magdalene that's where the bodies were already descended to the degree of of matter differently than in time of babaji so they were incarnated into this pure christ lineage but they were also intended to create a bloodline to spread the seed template among many however the watering down right occurred and so it remained dormant in many of the christ lineage incarnates then as it got very intense and difficult to maintain these christ templates on earth something new had to happen 
The next step in the creation of life as Christ had to happen. It was the feminine seed of Christ that had to then fully awaken and resurrect after all of this watering down, interbreeding, hijacking, manipulating, and distorting the original immaculate human design. That's why the bodies got so dense and, you know, falling prey to disease, illness, and all of that. Um, it was now time for all of the human incarnates to receive the next impulse. This was it. No more waiting. All was ripe and ready due to the seed that was um, that Jesus the Christ had activated at that time of the zero point timeline. Now the feminine Christ was needed to plant this new impulse in the original seed for all um, the human descending souls to receive it and begin to embody the codes held within these impulses. This impulse came straight from the mother of all life through the Holy Spirit herself. The mother, so eager to awaken her precious seedlings, her original human creations, ready to become their own God sovereign creators. Right? No longer just a part of the pro progeny and this ancestry that was enforced upon them. It's like an experiment hijacked. However, this was quite a process to create, perform, and undergo for all the layer and levels of distortion and transgression had to be witnessed, uncovered, met, and fully acknowledged. So all the intended powerful breakthroughs could ever occur. This was the time for the human body elemental to fully remember its source, right? So our body elementals to remember their source of origin of the illumined or as the illumined light and the immaculate design of life. Spirit then said to be continued. So I will continue that um, in the upgraded version on Patreon. In my galactic updates so actually i was shown that each time with each creation cycle we went deeper into the body like first it was very light essence uh fold uh, filled and then now we're going deeper into the body the seedling itself because it's time to now um not just bring that as an essence that's when this the seeding of the seed began and it all began with a uh, babaji and First, it was all full of light essence. Now it's moving deeper into the very structure of the human seed bodies themselves. So a lot of the things that we don't understand existing in this grid as humans and trying to move like spirit wants to move us back into the spiral is how this is done. And because it's performed in the body, there's pains, there's challenges, there's activations that need to take place. You know, if you happen to read some of the, I recently was browsing for something and I came across this uh, what appeared to be very new age kind of channeling and I was reading through it and I felt nothing. I felt like this empty energy behind it. It was all about, you know, when people have these uh, channeled call sessions and it was all about, oh, we are greeting you in the light of this presence, just receive it and this. And like I was rising through pages and pages and I realized I didn't read anything new. There was nothing from the beginning to end. It was just the same repetition of the same thing, like how these beings come and now you activate this and open up to this. And that's the classic, um, hooey pooey just calling it like that um false light that does not like we as humans cannot digest that this is a process and like in, in one of a recent um spirit channelings with spirit and uh master jesus he was present on earth at that time of the of the seed being activated for the first time um in the human right in the body it was very physical life was very it was very dense and physical in comparison to babaji's timelines right so it's like um he was reminding us that even when you undergo a surgery and you know there's beings who receive injections and beings who don't and they would feel everything and they would not know how to say because there's beings who actually when they're being operated on they don't um it's like this injection does not work right so you're not numbed and you can feel and there's beings examples that will tell you i've received and i felt every cut and this and that and uh, there's still so much behind this that we don't understand how the bodies are actually receiving these new transfigurations because imagine uh, a metamorphosis process like a butterfly it's like we don't know how it feels it's probably not very comfortable in the body the human body was not meant to suffer it's not like we are meant to feel this pain but the problem is because of this progeny that infiltrated the fallen and introduced the fallen DNA geometrics to the human, hence making a human more like a wiring, like a grid instead of a spiral and disconnecting us from the immaculate truth and really remembering who we are and always uh, praying to these false deities that are actually fallen gods, demi-gods instead of the true prime creator God and Holy Spirit is the essence of our life. 
And this disabled us and this disabled our bodies. Hence, it's now so difficult. So the deeper we went into the dis kind of like distortion, and this um, degradation of the body, the harder it is now to actually penetrate with the light. So spirit has been showing me we've picked the best timeline where, where it's like the worst of the worst, but we're making it the best of the best. So we've chosen this as a challenge to create within the bodies that have been so enslaved and so manipulated and most people don't even know, right? They just exist in the status quo, not even thinking that anything is a part of a creation that, you know, exists as a part of the fallen hybrid um, aspect of beings and how these beings, these fallen gods came to earth, introduced themselves because they wanted, they like force fed their own DNA. They said, we're gonna do this either way. We're gonna show you, right? We're also going to be part of this and we're gonna have through that our own human experience. So because of this interbreeding and you know, even I think even in the Bible, it says that it's not allowed. It wasn't allowed in, t in terms of um, creation. And I think it's in the book of Enoch when you have a, a whole work about these fallen angelics and the acts of sin that they've performed through these fallen um, experiments. And the experiment we're working with is ending this transgression. It's not just for me. I have not volunteered because I simply needed the experience. This was done on the behalf of all. That's what people don't understand. That the workings of light beings always bring the information to the entire, like the entire template because all the templates are one. That's how the seed exists at the planetary level. So um, once this would ripple out, it would liberate the old grid and would dissolve under this high velocity of our true light being state of being, which I'll explain in the galactic update, how it came to me through the cosmic Christ gateway and the activations I'm doing now. So I'm excited. Um, I'll leave it up to here now. I'll leave it here and um, I will love and leave you as well. Thank you for paying attention and for caring about this. I know there's not a lot of people who are interested to really hear the absolute truth and themselves receiving it, like impulse for impulse. I still have a very few people who would come to me and they would say they're receiving similar information to mine. It's so rare, but it happens sometimes. So I'm very excited that we are making these breakthroughs and that there are beings like Spirit has been showing me. There's a lot of people on the planet now that are primarily working on this embodiment process and getting rid of the body of this old template. And it's not as a hooey pooey as in reading a, a new age article and saying, I'm receiving, give it to me divine. But at the same time, you know, at the same time, it is also alchemical in a way that we can't yet understand, like our minds can not process because it is so divine. That's the part of, of surrender, but it's not like false in a way that you have nothing to do, just, just embrace it and you know, it's a combination of our earth work we have to do and spirit doing the work, performing through us. It has to be both. It's spirit meeting matter and vice versa. And thus we're becoming this beautiful co-creation, a light being in human form. And I'm like so excited for the future endeavors to come. Although I'm really in quite a lot of pain still at this time. So um, it is what it is. Thank you for all your support and prayers and um, you know your own belief in me and the mission and the mission of all, which is the great design of life and the progression of life as illumined life. So thank you for being here and um, being devoted to this path in your own way. And until we meet again, as always, so much love, wisdom and power. Take care and I'll talk to you again one day soon.